Welcome. Let's take a look now at uh, a trade to look ahead to for the week starting Monday the 23rd. Josh Mahoney is uh, with us. Before we take a look at your trade of the week next week, I just want to revisit Chris's trade of the week. And if, uh, like a lot of people, I wished I'd got in on this now because it was a good trade. It was short euro sterling out of the blocks on Friday. And I think out of the blocks on Friday, it just uh, went away with the trade. It did a really good, uh, really good deal. Yeah, got to give it to him. It absolutely smashed it this week. You know, p partly helped on its way by this whole idea that, you know, we're seeing the, the, that Ipsos Mori uh, Brexit poll come back and we saw that really a big lead in terms of the Remain camp and I think that that's something that's probably going to continue in the way up to that 23rd of June meeting so I do think we're going to see further uh, downside um, but for this week he's literally picked it perfectly because we saw that big move lower you can see that largely when he put that when he put that recommendation out since then we've seen every single day apart from today uh, in the red and we've seen it come back down to this crucial 76.52 support level and now it's starting to turn higher so the likeliness is that it'll probably continue on this trajectory to some extent um, but I think you know the precedent has been set we've got this head and shoulders formation I do think people are going to be looking to get short so any rally is likely to be sold into for euro sterling so yeah you done a good job last week yeah okay um, let's just take a look now at your trade uh, which you you want to talk about short footsie now it's not quite as simple as that is it because you're not short immediately no, and essentially it's just a continuation of the, the, the sideways range that we've been seeing over recent couple of weeks, but also we saw it back in March as well. So this is a very clearly defined range that we've got in play here. We're seeing a move from the bottom end of this range, which is at 6060, which I can just put on here, 6060, which you can see time and time again, it's come back to this level and rallied. You can see all throughout March. And then we also seen the same thing. We're seeing this potential head and shoulders coming into play, but largely it's consolidation on either shoulders. So the move essentially is try and wait towards this sort of 6180 or 6200 if it comes up to it, but we'll say 6180 um, and then go short from that. We'll be looking for a move back down to say 6070, uh, which is just above that sort of 6060 mark that is the bottom end of that range. But ultimately it's shorting it if it manages to rally back up towards the top end of this uh, range because then you have a very clearly defined resistance. The resistance point is the top that we had here on the 18th of March which is at uh, 62.37 and therefore if we put our stop just above there, let's say 62.40, um, then that should hopefully uh, stave away any possible uh, move a little bit higher. Hopefully it should be able to cap it. If we get to the top then we'll just try and ride it back towards the bottom. And you put a limit on it, what, 60.70? 60.70, yeah. Um, I mean ultimately it seems to keep coming down to the 60.60. You can see three times in the last few weeks. So essentially, it's just trying to see the same again, really. Yep. Okay, dokie. All right, that's uh, brilliant. Thanks so much indeed. Uh, that's uh, next week's uh, trade of the week for the week starting May the 23rd.